Every time I do a video on New Orleans, I still get shocked at just how wild it is. The subject of today's video is a major reason why. The subject of today's video is a demon from New Orleans that terrorized the streets. He started killing at a young age and was allegedly a primary suspect in 11 murders. The subject of today's video was charged with murder for the first time at just the age of 16 and would beat multiple murder cases due to witnesses being terrified to testify against him. The subject of today's video is not other than Ivory B. Stupid Harris and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. B. Stupid, real name Ivory Harris, was from New Orleans, Louisiana. More specifically, he was from the Magnolia Projects. He got involved in the streets and started toting guns at a young age. He rolled with a group called the Dooney Boys. The Dooney Boys were a group of young killers that were under the guidance of an original Hot Boys member named Anthony Dooney Joseph. B Stupid also had a close relationship with the legendary New Orleans rapper Soldier Slim and claimed his group called the Cutthroat Committee. B Stupid had a troubled adolescence and built a fearsome reputation in the streets. He was arrested over a dozen times as a juvenile, leading to him catching his first murder charge at just 16 years old. On April 9, 2002, at just 16 years old, B. Stupid allegedly shot and killed a man named Alphonse McGee in the courtyard of the Magnolia Projects. A witness identified him as the shooter and he was charged with the murder. A New Orleans Parish grand jury decided to charge B. Stupid as an adult on first degree murder charges. He was arrested and sat in jail for the next two years, enduring a series of pre-trial motions and attorneys debating over his mental competency. If convicted of this crime, he would have faced the death penalty. While sitting in jail fighting a murder, B. Stupid would suffer a devastating loss. On November 26, 2003, he lost his close friend Soldier Slim. Despite being a popular rapper, it was known that Soldier Slim was still putting in work in the streets, leading to him creating plenty of enemies. On the tragic day of his death, Soldier Slim, real name James Tapp, was standing on the front lawn of the two-story duplex he'd bought for his mother when a gunman pulled up. The gunman then proceeded to shoot him four times, three times in the face and once in the chest. Soldier Slim would tragically be pronounced dead at just 26 years old. On December 31st, 2003, police arrested a 22-year-old man named Jarrell Jigga Smith in connection with Soldier's murder. Police discovered a stolen pistol in Jarrell's possession with a scratched-off serial number. A ballistics test matched bullets from that gun to the ones that killed Soldier, but no witnesses would testify against him. The charges were eventually dropped. After beating this murder, Jarrell would be arrested for three more murders over the years but would be each one due to a lack of witnesses and the New Orleans 60-day law which requires the state to release a defendant who has not been charged with a crime after 60 days. Jarrell would ultimately be shot and killed on August 13, 2011. Things were looking bleak for B. Stupid but miraculously the tide turned in his favor. On June 10, 2004, the district attorney's office dropped the charges against him for Alphonse's murder after a key witness's identification was deemed inadmissible at trial. With his newfound freedom, B. Stupid would allegedly go on to claim another life. On May 12, 2005, a 30-year-old thrift store owner named Yoshio Watson was shot and killed at a birthday party in the 2600 block of Phillips Street in Central City. B. Stupid would be charged with this murder on June 19, 2005. About two months after being charged, the charges would be dropped after a witness refused to cooperate. Although he beat another murder charge, B. Stupid was sent to prison in Shreveport, Louisiana for an aggravated battery case. While in prison, a natural disaster would destroy his hometown of New Orleans. In August of 2005, a tropical cyclone called Hurricane Katrina struck the southeastern United States, but especially New Orleans. The hurricane and its aftermath claimed more than 1,800 lives, and it ranked as the costliest natural disaster in United States history. 
it caused between $97.4 billion to $145.5 billion in damage. On November 3rd, 2005, B. Stupid was released from prison and, with his hometown in disarray, he decided to move. Following the devastation of Hurricane Katrina, a bunch of NOLA residents relocated to Houston, Texas. Unfortunately for the residents of Houston, the gangsters moved there as well and brought their beef with them. B. Stupid was one of them, and he would eventually catch a murder charge there. As I mentioned earlier, Soldier Slim, who B. Stupid was close to, was killed, and a man named Jarrell Smith was originally charged with the murder. Authorities believe that Jarrell, along with another man named Stephen Kennedy, were paid $10,000 to kill Soldier. While in Houston, B. Stupid would allegedly avenge Soldier's death. One of the people that B. Stupid hung around most was another member of the Dooney Boys and a known killer in his own right named Jerome Manman Hampton. The two of them would go on drills together and eventually they would catch up to one of Soldier Slim's alleged killers. On December 28, 2005, Stephen Kennedy was shot and killed. B. Stupid and Man Man were charged with this murder, and prosecutors claimed that they did it as get back for Soldier Slim. Despite the accusations against them, they would both somehow beat the case. Shortly after, B. Stupid would once again find himself linked to a murder. With his name constantly being linked to murders, police in New Orleans and Houston began to target B. Stupid. The chief of the Houston Police Department, named Harold Hurt, said that B. Stupid was an extremely dangerous individual and they believed he was responsible for several murders. On January 4, 2006, he was arrested on a criminal trespassing charge in New Orleans, but was later released with a $2,500 bail. Over a month after this, a man named Jermaine Manny Wise was shot and killed during a Mardi Gras celebration at the 5300 block of Constance Street in New Orleans. The police believed that B. Stupid was the gunman responsible for this. They would launch a manhunt on him and try to charge him with as many things as possible so he would stay locked up. On March 19, 2006, members of the New Orleans Police Department and the Kenner Police Department arrested B. Stupid at a Kenner apartment complex using a warrant for Jermaine's murder. According to the police, B. Stupid had three and one half ounces of heroin, three and one half ounces of crack cocaine, a 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun, two loaded assault rifles, and $5,800 on him. The U.S. Attorney's Office said that B. Stupid boasted about being a drug dealer on his MySpace page. A man named Calvert Soldier McGee with B. Stupid also was arrested. Police also discovered that B. Stupid had traveled between Houston and New Orleans between his release from the Shreveport Jail and his arrest in the apartment. He used it as a base for dealing narcotics and keeping weapons. While in prison for these charges, B. Stupid smuggled a mobile phone into his cell so he could communicate with Calvert. He placed telephone calls asking for his associates to find the witness that saw him kill Jermaine. The associates did not find her and law enforcement authorities relocated her after discovering the calls. In 2007, B. Stupid pleaded guilty to drug trafficking and gun crimes, receiving a 25-year sentence in federal court. As part of the plea deal, he also pleaded guilty in state court to killing Jermaine. Prosecutors from Louisiana allowed B. Stupid to plead guilty to manslaughter for the death of Jermaine. By doing so, he avoided a murder trial for Jermaine's murder and thus avoided the death penalty. He is expected to be released on July 12th, 2028. Man, I don't even know what to say about New Orleans anymore. It seems like people get caught committing murders, then they just beat the case without breaking a sweat. I don't even know what the prosecutors are doing over there. RIP to everyone mentioned in this video. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comment section. And please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.